What's up, everybody, and welcome back to A Beer A Day with TK. It's a Wednesday, so you know what that means. Time for a WTF Wednesday video. If you're new to the program, WTF Wednesday is the one day a week where Anderson and I try a beer we normally wouldn't on the program. And today's offering is going to be Sarajevsko Premium. And this is from Sarajevska Pavara from Sarajevo, Bosnia, and Herzegovina. I'm glad you can pronounce those words. I sure can't. I have traveled in the Balkans, man. I've spent time in Kosovo, um, and I kind of like most of the beers from the Balkans. I mean, most of them are nothing crazy. They're kind of Euro lagers, but the beers I've had there are pretty good. I've had some good Serbian beers, some good Kosovo beers, um, but I've never had one from Bosnia. Nor have I. So I'm kind of excited to give this a shot. Um, this was picked up through Halftime Beverage. They're in New York. Um, I've talked about them before. If I'm looking for international beers, I tend to not see too many out here. I see a ton of stuff from Michigan and Ohio and, you know, local stuff. Um, but imports, don't see that many. If you do, the, it's the Guinness. Common stuff. Yeah, yeah Guinness, things. Corona, Dos Equis, that kind of stuff. Peroni. Maybe, maybe some Delirium. Yeah, if you're lucky, that stuff. But it's kind of crap everybody gets. Um, so, I don't know. For me, I kind of like to try some of these beers from other parts of the world. I know in the last order, I got one, some from Portugal, Spain, Israel, Haiti, one from Puerto Rico, got this guy here from, from Bosnia. Um, so, you know, I don't know. It's a little international flavor. Let's see what they're like. I wonder if Bosnian Bill drinks this. He might. Who knows? From the lock-picking community? It could be. I'm unfamiliar with Bosnian Bill. I don't pick locks. But you, I know you watch the lock-picking lawyer and these other guys, right? Mainly the lock-picking lawyer. He's pretty, he's pretty, pretty neat. Yeah. I but he, but he talks about Bosnian Bill a lot. He made some tools with Bosnian Bill. So I wonder if Bosnian Bill drinks... Bosnian beer. Now, like I said, I've spent a lot of time in Kosovo. Um, I've probably been there, I don't know, four or five times over the years. I spent a whole semester there interning at the Ministry of Justice. I've gone back and taught summer classes there twice, and I've never seen this one. Now, I did notice when we went to un, uh, Untapped, our buddy, the Macedonian madman Vasco, had checked into one of these <laughs> not that long ago. And he lives in, again, Macedonia, or North Macedonia now, I guess they're calling it. Um, so it must be available in the region. Maybe I just didn't stumble across it in the places I was. I don't think they call it that. Other people call it North Macedonia. The Fair Macedonians, the Macedonians do, not do not call it North Macedonia. My apologies, my brothers. <clears throat> I know Peter and Vasco will not be happy with that. So my apologies. It's just Macedonia. <laughs> Only the folks at the UN do that crap. Um, so this says just premium lager, pleasantly complex and balanced. Now, it did say on the back, again, we're ranting about font size and colors. We had to take a photo and blow this up to even read the back. It says it's just made with water, hops, malt, and yeast. So pretty simple ingredients, which I like to see. There's no weird adjuncts in there. And it did actually list the hops. It said Aurora, Golden, and Magnum. And as for the malts, they went with two-row summer barley and Pilsen malt. So, I don't know, sounds okay. Now, the only thing that does worry me... Green bottle. Green bottle. And I did buy this as a... Well, I got it as a single. I don't know how it showed up out there. Um, well, as we're talking, I did notice... Yeah. As you just covered up with your hand... The dates. The, the date on it. And it looks like it's marked 2023. 2023. So it should be in date <clears throat> as this is... We're... What's today? The 28th of December or something? Right. So it's not quite January. So it's not 2023 yet. So this should still be good. Assuming it was stored properly and all that kind of stuff. Those guys do a lot of volume, so I'd imagine they probably just take the cases, break them, and ship them out. I would hope so. So it's probably green bottles I'm always leery about. Yeah, yeah. Um, cap, nothing too special. Just says, sorry, yes, Scott. Say, say, sorry, Sko. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, yes, Sko. So this is called Sorry, of Sko Premium, but the brewery is Sorry, yes, Ska. Can you jostle that beer around some more before we open it? <laughs> I'm gonna smack him with a bottle, dude. Let's see, it's 4.9% ABV. Um, couldn't find anything on the IBUs. Ratings wise, does pretty good for what is just a you know premium lager, Euro lager essentially. Untapped 3.09, beer advocate 3.32, with the overall score of 80. Good. I mean, that's that's respectable. I expect this to be Heineken esque, was my guess. Right. Which I don't mind Heineken. I mean, it's, you know, it's... it's well, once there. again, Heineken suffers from being in a green bottle. Yeah. I know a lot Heineken, of people don't like it. I don't mind it. Heineken's generally pretty good over in Europe when you can get it fresh yeah. and, and properly stored and packaged. But over here, it's always light struck. Save this cap for my giant collection of caps. We break out our Brew HQ chart. Look at the color here. This is... Clear yellow. Yeah. One or two, like a pale straw color. Right. You I'm can going see one. right through it. 
maybe some fine bubbles here and there. Not a ton of carbonation, no. surprisingly. And no real, not a whole lot of head. No, but it's it's there. It hasn't completely dissipated. It looks like, you know when you do dishes and you have that little, the foam the foam on the top from the dishes or something like that? Like when the, the, the You mean after you've let them sit in the sink for a couple hours? Yeah, shit. This, maybe this isn't going the way I want to do. But yes, that's kind of what it looks like. Whitehead. It is what it is. All right, let's give it a sniff. I already got a skunky kind of smell from it. Yeah, it's a bit of a skunky smell. It's not terrible, though. Usually when I open like a Heineken or something, the minute you open it, you get, you that, get that skunk smell and you're like, I'm not picking up. You do get a tiny bit of skunkiness. But I'm guessing it's probably just uh, like a little little hoppy, hoppiness to it. But that's it. Not much else going yeah, on. Yeah, there's not much of it. Yeah, no, I ain't Anything. Up there. All right, you ready? Let's try this. To Bosnia and Herzegovina. Body is extremely light as Water. we expected. Yeah. The taste is kind of weird. It's kind of like a hoppy Heineken. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's probably a pretty good assessment. Um, you get like a light kind of malt, light malt back, and then a pretty decent hop finish. I'm surprised. Yeah, I'm surprised on the hops on this. I did not yeah. expect that at all. Yeah, that's when I took the first sip. I was like, okay, caught me off guard. Um, maybe like a light bready malt, and then at the end you get a bit of hops. I mean, I think that's yeah. probably about it. I don't know you could say a lot more about it. Very light bodied, 4.9% ABV, so just hovering around 5 a little, um, a little dry on the finish. Yeah, not yeah. I think it's drinkable though. I it's better than I thought it was going to be. Oh, absolutely, especially being again a green bottle. But I think we got lucky here with it being, yeah, in date. And like you said, they're probably a high volume distributor of this, so yeah, it, it probably doesn't sit on the shelves long or, or sit in direct light for very long. So dates, we got lucky. The dates is something I've become hyper cognizant of, kind of in recent months. Um, I don't remember a while back there, I bought a six pack of an Indian beer. And I should have known when it was covered in dust when I got it. <laughs> but it was something like five years old. There's something absurd. Uh, and strangely, it still tasted okay. It wasn't that bad. Uh, but I started to pay attention to the dates a lot more than I used to. Uh, but I guess, you know, a lot of times if you're drinking in the old days, you're drinking Yingling. It's probably flying off the shelves every week. Right. Bike. Yingling, Bud or you, Light, or whatever. You're buying stuff like this. It's a lot more of a niche market. It might sit around a little longer. Uh, for me, though, sorry, Esco Premium. Not bad. Not no. bad. No, not at all. I'd definitely give it a thumbs up. I would drink another one of these. Yeah, and it gets a big thumbs up from me as well on this WTF Wednesday. Um, I don't know if they had any other beers. Do you remember we looked them up on Untapped or Beer Advocate? I don't think I saw anything else pop I up. I think there was, because I think I mentioned it was the premium. Ah, so maybe we were looking regular up the regular one as well. So I think yeah. they do have some other beers. Maybe we'll have to hunt down some of the others and see what they're like. Hey, hopefully you liked the video. If you do, please give us a thumbs up. Hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit subscribe. And as always, got any comments or questions, jump in down below. Are there any other beers from Bosnia and Herzegovina we should be looking for? If so, let me know what they are. Hey, till next time. Cheers. Cheers.